Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I do buy help here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between Sera and Siri. Sera is a new application that just launched in Cydia, and it replaces Siri or it gives you Siri like functionalities on your non iPhone 4S device. Uh, the service is rather new, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a comparison for you guys. The source uh, will be in the video description down below, but you can also get it right here on the screen Sera Official Repo. Uh, it's I S O F T. JSC.com. So you go ahead and, like I said, it's going to be in the video description down below. Add it. And then you go ahead and hit search tab on Cydia and search for Sarah. Go ahead and download the one for your respective device. They do have two one for the uh, iPhone the iPhone 2G, 3G, iPod Touch 2G, the older devices, and one for the newer devices like 3G as an iPhone 4. Uh, I'm running it on my iPod Touch fourth generation. I have my iPod Touch generations here on the left, obviously, and my iPhone 4s is on the right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close any application that might be open to make this a fair comparison, except the application screen splitter, which is allowing me to manage the image of my devices to the computer screen. Now, make sure that the Wi-Fi connection is exactly the same as well. I'm trying to make this as uh, fair as possible. As you can see there, my Wi-Fi is the same network. So, uh, and a quick note, if you want Sarah to launch kind of like Siri does by pressing the home button for like a second, you go ahead and go into the activator application. If you don't have it, go ahead and download it from Cydia. Go to anywhere here, the first option on the top. Short press, uh, short hold, and add Sarah to, scroll down and add Sarah to this uh, functionality. So if you scroll down and uh, select Sarah, like me right there, every time you do a short press hold, a short hold, for the home button, Sarah will launch kind of like Siri. So let's see the speed uh, first on which one launches faster, and then we'll ask a series of questions and see which one gets it right and the fastest time. Now, before I continue with this tutorial, I did wanted to point out a few features that are unique to Sarah. If you click this keyboard here on the right, you can also type in your question. This is good if you're at a noisy spot and it can't hear you. You can type your question. That is unique to Sarah. And if you click this bottom right wrench here, you can also set relations. You can uh, go ahead and tap whatever name you want to set whatever number to that relation. Go ahead and your contact book shows up on the right. And you go ahead and set the name for or the phone number for whatever person you know, you want it to, to remember. And it will remember that person's phone number and the relation. You can also type in your name here. And whatever you type in there, Sarah will refer to you as that. So let's go ahead and give it a quick try to the calling feature. Now I am on iPod Touch 4th generation, so it's not going to call. And it also works for text messaging. But again, I am on iPod Touch, so those features do not work on iPod Touches. This is for iPhone only. So let's go ahead and try calling my brother. I was speaking there. Let's go ahead and give it a second and try it again. Call mom. Call mom. Please wait. I'm calling mom so, for you. So as you can see there, it's not perfect, but it does work. It does call. Again, it's not going to call because I'm on an iPod Touch. And uh, call my brother. Calling brother. See, so now it remembers who my brother is, just like Siri. So those are good features that come with Sarah. Um, let's try texting. Text my brother. See, it doesn't always get it right. But again, these are some cool features I wanted to point out before I continue with this review. So now let's go ahead and jump back into this review and see how these two compare. So it's Siri's already up. Sarah's not doing anything. There's Sarah. So now uh, let's go ahead. Uh, Siri kind of won that one there. So let's go ahead and ask a question. Let's ask uh, the what weather. Can I help you with? Let's go ahead and ask the weather. What's the weather for today? Here's the forecast. Maybe not so nice today. So here's the weather. Uh, Siri got the weather right I away. Found some info for you. Sarah's got the weather. Not too bad. There we go. Kind of, kind of similar. But obviously, Siri has you know the built-in, uh, you know, Apple weather app, and Sarah uses the internet. Let's go ahead and uh, set a reminder. See if it sets a remind or a timer. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Your timer is set for 20 minutes. So uh, Sarah cannot set timers. Say Siri obviously can. 
So let's go ahead and ask another question, maybe what's the time? What time is it? The time is ten thirty AM. Sorry, so, is teaching me how to answer this. So Sarah cannot answer the time, Siri can. Um let's go ahead, you know, normal questions, uh Find the closest McDonald. I found ten restaurants matching McDonald's. Eight of them he's are God. fairly close to you. He's God. Sarah said he's God. Siri got you the locations. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, what's the time in Tokyo? Let's try that. In Tokyo, Japan. It's 12.31 a.m. Okay, so... To answer this. Sarah didn't get that. Siri obviously got it. Let's go ahead and try to launch application. Now, Siri does not launch application with stock Siri from the iPhone 4 that Apple provides. But it does if you uh, jailbreak. So they're both jailbroken devices. So let's see if they both uh, have the same tweaks and see if they can both launch applications. Launch Twitter. So you can see Twitter launched on the iPhone 4 rather quickly. And. Uh, I'm tired. Sarah says she's tired. So let's go ahead and ask it um, two more questions. Maybe, uh, let's see. Who's Steve Jobs? Who's Steve Jobs? Let me think about that. This might answer your question. So Siri got who's Steve Jobs birthday information picture. Obviously, what a surprise. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, Sorry. Sarah did not get that right. Um, what else can we ask? Uh, maybe let's try one more question and then we'll decide. Find the closest hospital. I found three hospitals. Two of them are fairly close to you. I don't understand when bus is high. <laughs> when bus is high. Find the closest hospital. So let's see if Sarah gets it this time around. Didn't really understand. I didn't can't get that. Now uh, one more question and we'll close this off, guys. What's your name? My name? Call me Sarah. Miguel. It's Siri. So they both answered. Now, uh there you go guys. It's kinda like a comparison, you know, day to day questions and things you do with Siri or actually that I do with Siri. Uh, Sarah is not quite as good, but then again, we got to keep in mind, it is a small developer that developed Sarah in Apple, it's a large corporation, you know, so keep that in mind. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot recommend Sarah at this point, because, uh, it's not as solid, or at least not as solid as I'd hoped it'd be. I don't want it to be as close to Siri as, you know, as Apple has Siri set up, because, you know, Apple is a huge corporation, but it could have done a little bit better, hopefully in, uh, more updates. Uh, come along Sarah might get better but if for the meantime I cannot recommend it I'll let you guys know if it does get better I'll leave an annotation on this video uh, you can go ahead and grab Sarah if you're you know itching for that Siri like feeling on your non iPhone 4s device and um, it does get some of the stuff right uh, but I do recommend you go ahead and check out my other video on how to get Siri on your non iPhone 4s device by Sarah and a, by setting up a Siri proxy which I do recommend because it does work kind of more like Siri than Sarah does. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Any questions, just leave a comment down below. Go ahead and thumbs up if you do enjoy. Make sure you go check out my blog, check out my YouTube channel. Lots of cool free stuff there. And come follow me on Twitter, guys. Uh, it's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.